In this video, we are going to study and solve the third numerical based on the composition of functions. We have already covered up two important questions on the same topic. Let's move on to this third question which is actually asking me to prove something. Let's see what the question has to say. If f and g are 1 1 that means they are 1 1 functions prove g o f is 1 1. This is read as g o f and g circle f also. By this time you must have been knowing what is g o f, what is f o g. If you do not know what is g o f and f o g, I advise you to watch the previous videos based on the composition of functions. Let's get started with the wording of the question itself. The question tells me that f is a 1 1 function. So if f is 1 1 function, we have f x equal to f y. Why? Because f is given to me as 1 1. And if fx is equal to y of f, that means f of y, and the function is 1, 1, that implies what? That implies x is equal to y. This part is solved with the knowledge that f is 1, 1. Now, when g is 1, 1, what will happen? When g is 1, 1, I can say that gx is equal to gy. That implies what? That implies x is equal to y again. Both these statements are written by the knowledge that f and g are 1, 1. Now, what do we have to prove? We have to prove that g o f is 1, 1. So, we move a step forward, we start solving for g o f. Now, what is g o f basically? g o f is nothing but g o f x when we consider the variable x and it is g o f y when we consider the variable y. Now, if we have to prove this as 1, 1, there must be something as g o f x is equal to g o f y. That implies, again we can solve using these equations. So, that is what is needed. So, now if g o f x is equal to g o f y, we take this and in the end, if we reach x is equal to y, that means my function g o f is what? It is 1, 1 function. This technique we are going to follow now. G O F X and G O F Y should be again simplified as G of F X and here it should be G of F Y. How come did we get this? We got this with the knowledge of composition of functions. Now we have here F X, we have here F Y and F X, F Y were here also. What is the value of F X and F Y? X and Y basically. So from this equation which can be taken as equation number 1, if we put it in here, I just have g and in place of fx I can write x. Similarly, in place of fy I can write y. So it is g of y. And how did we write this? We didn't write this because we wanted to write this as it is. It was taken from an equation which was named as 1. Now you have gx here, you have gy here. What is the value of gx and gy? gx and gy again correspond to x and y, right? If you take this equation as equation number 2 and substitute the value in these things, you can get the answer. So what is gx and gy? It is technically x is equal to y. And from where we have arrived x is equal to y, we have arrived it from equation number 2. So we started with what? We started with g o f x, we started with g o f y and we reached what? We reached the conclusion that x is equal to y. Since we started with a function and we reached the conclusion that the x and y are equal, so g o f is what? g o f is 1 1. Let me repeat what we did in this question, we were given f and g as two functions which were 1 1 and we had to prove that g o f is also 1 1. So what we did was we used the definition of functions, 1 1 functions, f x and f y put equal x is equal to y, similarly g x and g y put equal x is equal to y and rest we did the story of g o f and computed it solving equation number 1 and 2. So in this video we saw the third numerical based on composition of functions. In the next video we will be seeing the fourth numerical an important one based on the composition of functions.